Hey, what's going on guys? So yesterday I put out a video uh, basically launching, soft launching, announcing uh, a fulfillment center that I am opening in the coming weeks, actually next week, and uh, handling inventory for eBay sellers and other sellers, other platforms, and storing it and shipping it and putting it out. And I got hundreds and hundreds, literally hundreds of emails and comments. There's quite a few of you that I speak to on a daily basis who can comment below. Uh, and attest to how many comments and emails I received, hundreds and hundreds. And I was up till four o'clock this morning answering every single one of them uh, all the way up until today. So here's the story. What I'm doing is similar to Amazon's business model, but for eBay sellers and some other platforms. All I'm doing is allowing you to ship your inventory that's listed, listed inventory, into me, and I will put it on my shelves in my facility. I will store it. And when it sells, I will access your account through eBay's multi-user access where you can restrict account access to just like shipping labels, for example, uh, and other platforms which don't have third-party access. But I will pull those items off the shelf just like you would in your garage or your closet or your bedroom or whatever, and we will pack it and ship it. That's it. That's the entire service. I'm not grading your comic books. I'm not making the decision on how to price your items or or having you ship out your items and I'm printing a label and emailing it to you. That's not it, guys. Literally, you're going to ship your inventory to me. I'm going to put it on a shelf. I'm going to inventory it inside of my inventory system so I know exactly where your items are. And whenever an item sells that we check every single day, we'll check your accounts. We'll pull it out. We'll pack it. We'll ship it. We'll send it off. I'm offering you a storage facility and packing and shipping uh, procedures, basically. Packing and shipping services. That's it. I am paying to send you the materials you need to box it all up, bags and SKU stickers. I'm paying to have that box shipped into my building. And then I'm covering your storage and all of your packing materials, your poly bags, bubble mailers, bubble wrap, whatever we need for that, I'll handle all that. The only thing you're gonna pay for normally is the label that goes from when an item sells out to your customer. When I log into your eBay multi-user and I print that $4 t-shirt label, that's still gonna get charged to your eBay account per usual. You don't pay for anything else except my fee, which everybody's asking what the price is. The categories are all different. It's around $4 all in, which covers all of that. Some categories are more, some categories are left or less. Some sizes of items and different types are more or less. So email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I'll send you all that information. That's why I asked everyone to email me and thank you to everyone that did email me. That's awesome of you guys. But sitting in the comments and just yelling that, I'll never trust somebody to grade my comics and I'm not sending it to your facility for that reason. That's not what we're doing, guys. It's fulfillment. It's storage and shipping. If you don't understand that or you think this is something more than that, this service may not be for you. That's just the way it is. I do have a listing service. It is totally separate. My fulfillment is for listings that are active or are already drafted ready to go active that we can put in the facility, store it, and ship it when it sells. If you want me to do your listings through my listing service, happy to still do that, ecommercelisters.com. We do thousands of listings a week. We'll make all your listings, and then you can box it up, ship it into me, and I'll make them all live and store it. Absolutely a plan that we can work with. But it's nothing more than that. We're not doing anything else besides what I just described to you. Now, obviously there are more details that you'll need to be able to do it. We can start with 25 items or 50 items or 500 items or however you wanna do it. Uh, a lot of good questions about uh, what happens when the items get damaged you know, on the way to me. Uh, obviously that would be through UPS or whatever um, carrier we use to ship in that's cheapest, we'll get the insurance. Um, what happens if an item ships from my building to the customer gets damaged in shipping? It's no different than if it got damaged if you shipped it to them, my packaging, In 18 years and tens of thousands of items, I've had one item ever damaged, so I am pretty confident in my shipping abilities. Uh, We'll just leave it at that. But um, we would file the appropriate insurance. What happens if an item gets damaged while it's in my building? Obviously, I have insurance. There is uh, restrictions on me insuring other people's inventory, so there's third-party additional insurance that you can add to your inventory. It's very, very affordable, very cheap. Certainly welcome to do that. Um, It's all part of the details and part of the fulfillment agreement that I will send you when you decide to come on board with us. Um, You can look it over and uh, go with it or not. It's up to you. Um, You know, clearly I live in Florida. We change your address on the items that you send me. Let's say you have a thousand active items. You send me 500 of them. Uh, Those 500 would have a ship from address of me 
that way um, of here. That way they would calculate properly when a buyer is trying to buy them. Um, they would not calculate from your Tennessee address because that wouldn't make sense. If you keep 500 items, those items will still calculate from Tennessee. We leave that alone. The 500 you send me, we edit the address in bulk. So there's other details we'll get into, but I just wanted to cover all this because I got a lot of amazing questions and comments and concerns. Um, you know, I live in Florida, hurricane season, again, all things that I have covered. I didn't just wake up yesterday morning and decide, hey, I want a bunch of people to send me their inventory and um, I'll figure it all out later. We've been at this for the better part of six months. Again, there are several of you, and if you're watching these videos and you know who you are that I talk to on a daily basis, um, feel free to comment down below. I've been at this for the better part of six to nine months, maybe a year since we launched this idea um, initially up here and, and with you know coordinating with other people. Uh, we have literally run tests on our own pretending to be customers. I always test out the theory of like, if I was a customer, what could happen? We run all these scenarios through our heads, through spreadsheets, through um, phone calls. We take group phone calls and text and, and just bounce these ideas like, okay, what happens if this happens and this happens and this happens? What if somebody wants us to do X or we can't do this or we can't do that? What happens if I have to go on an emergency vacation for three and a half years? How do I handle it? These are all been covered. Employees, insurances, and backups on top of backups on top of buildings on top of backups. I spent actually two weeks ago inside of a hundred million dollar logistics facility just down the road from me where they ship and receive 10,000 items a week, literally a week, two to 3,000 a day that come in and come out with like 25 employees that are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars a day, millions, literally millions of dollars a week. This is a hundred million dollar facility. That's $2 million a week at 52 weeks that they process in and out of their building. And the warehouse manager and the owner of this building and the sales and repair manager took me through their process step by step by step and then asked me how I was doing mine. And then I said X, they said X, and they said, whoa, well, here's why we do it this way. This may not work for you. Consider this, consider that. And so that was my last kind of test of like, how does somebody that really knows what they're doing do what they do? And I didn't, again, guys, I don't do anything without planning, without thinking this through. I'm not by any stretch of the imagination somebody who just flies by the seat of their pants. I, I have 18 years of experience doing this. This is all I've ever done. I clearly know what it takes to ship and receive thousands of pieces of merchandise a week. And if I get to the point where it's tens of thousands, we'll just hire new people. We'll get a bigger building. We'll get a bigger insurance policy. There's backups and procedures and policies for everything. It's all written out. It's in writing. I have, like, you guys ever seen those, like, FBI profiler TV shows where they have those, like, whiteboards with all the strings to every little thing? I feel like I should have one of those, like, one of those scribble boards. I have it in notebooks and stuff and iPads and digital, but I should have one behind my desk, I swear. Anyways, it's all taken care of. If you want to email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com, I'll send you all the details, everything that you need. We have an inventory system where you can view, uh, view what inventory you have here uh, at our location 24 hours a day. You can log in and see every item, its status, whether it's in the building, whether it's already sold and shipped out, or whether it's inbound, like you shipped it to us and it's still in transit. Um, tracking numbers, we have all that, everything included. Like we've thought of everything. So if you're interested, you want somewhere that you can send your inventory, you can store it and have somebody else handle all the shipping. And we offer one day handling. So if you can't offer one day handling, whatever your situation is, now you can, which will help your sales. We're paying all your packing material. We're paying the shipping to get you the materials, paying the packing uh, or the shipping to get it to me. It's really not a lose situation. It's a win-win for everyone. Free up time, free up space, free up everything. Yeah, I have a fee. I have to charge for it, but that's the cost of doing business. And if it helps you grow, then this, the fee that you pay me is going to tenfold pay for itself. Hopefully, that's the plan. So email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I'll give you the details. I'll explain a little bit better uh, in more detail. Again, everyone's situation is different. The platforms you sell on, the type of items you have, it's around $4 all in give or take. There's some $3 ones. There's some $5 and $6 ones. It just depends. I'll go over that with you. Um, there's insurance plans and things that you can get. There's all sorts of different options. So email me. We'll talk about it. And uh, you can start as small as you want. You can start with 25 items. Like it's that easy. All you do is pay 
50% upfront, so you'd pay $2, and that gets it all to me, and then you don't pay the other $2 until the item sells. If it never sells, you don't have to pay the other $2. Now, after six to nine months, there's no storage fees up to that. I don't charge storage for the first six months up to nine months. You can either have the items returned to you, we can dispose of them if you'd prefer, or you can run deep sales and I'll extend it, you know, the, the no storage fee, I'll extend that while you run some big sales to try to move inventory out. And then whatever's left after that, if you wanna keep it around, there's a small storage fee, but you can always have it just returned or disposed of, that's your choice as well. So another great question I got about how long the items sit and being stale. So we definitely want stuff to turn over, we don't want it just sitting for years and years. Um, but again, something that's flexible and we can work out. So I'll talk about it with everybody in the um, emails, rockstarflipper at gmail.com it is set up we're ready to take it if you want to start with 25 items you do it you want to start with 50 you want to send me all thousand pieces whatever you want to do we're ready um as of today uh and slash monday we will be setting up all of the equipment and we expect all of the inventory from clients i'm already signed on with uh who have already signed up to start coming in the middle end of next week so it takes a few days to get you that welcome kit obviously it takes a few days to get the inventory back and um, yeah, that's pretty much the process. There's nothing more to it. Don't overthink it. Don't get your own, you know, don't get in your own way. Don't try to microanalyze it and, and break it all down. It's, it's very, very simple, guys. I try to keep everything easy, clean, and simple. Uh, you know, I was taught early, keep it simple, stupid. I'm generally speaking the most simple, clean person there is. Like, I don't like complicated stuff. So I just say it to myself all the time. Hey, stupid, keep it simple, and it'll be easy for everyone. So that's it. That's all we're doing. Ecom Fulfillment Solutions, we'll store your inventory, we'll ship it out, we'll make sure it gets out there to everybody and you can grow and take back your time, go on vacation and go away whenever you want and your items will still ship and sell. So that's the plan, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. Thanks for listening, thanks for hearing my rant and uh, thanks for responding to the video yesterday and hopefully today. Have a wonderful evening everybody, I'll see you next time.